there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Let's have a look around this um, room of detritus and dust. Let's have a tour. Let's, Let's start stage it, left. Let's start, man. Right, well, little guy there that you might have um, seen the review of already. Um, but if not, guys, there it is, little H&K. That's um, our project for this week. Uh, moving along, back in the day, bought this bad boy for about 88 quid. Yeah, that's right, 88 quid, I'll be Pacific. It's a lead 12, sounds like absolute shit. But <laughs> you can use the cabs for bigger and better stuff, so I normally use that for like a smaller rig. Excellent bag, we'll mention Oh yeah, look at that bag. awesome bag. Yeah, I think we might have to mention that one. Um, over to the Line 6 head, which I've been using now pretty much since like 2008. Um, absolutely awesome head, love that to bits, I'll do more on that. Um, I've got a Marshall 2B12 sitting under that, so 1936, so yeah, yeah. Then we go over to the Marshall 9000 solid state power amp, which is a bastard of an amp. Uh, right underneath that we've got the old Digitech 2120, which was the industry kind of standard in, in effects over the last couple of years, well, last 10, 15 years, 20 years, show me age. Other shit, collections of shit. Um, and then there's the guitars, so we've got a 650 Custom from Chevelle over in the corner there, which you might not be able to see so well. But we can go over it, we have the technology. Um, absolutely love that guitar to bits, first serious guitar I ever owned, love it to bits. Um, the Ibanez JS series, which is fucking awesome, um, about as close to Fender as I like to get with an Ibanez. But it's, it's brilliant. Um, my my other life, um, the PRS, I absolutely love this guitar. It's an absolute workhorse, gets battered to shit, but it still plays like a dream. This one's a little bit special. It is a little bit special, that one as well. Let's show them why. Keep them why. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Signed by the man himself. Absolutely top bollocks. Brilliant, brilliant bloke. So down to earth. Um, and he cares about every guitar that he ever makes, which is which is nice. I'm a fan of the fact he's called it to Glover. Yeah, yeah, to the to Glover. It wasn't me, it was some other Glover. I bought it on eBay for 59 quid. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got, of course, hopefully you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, get over there and watch it now. Gem um, 7 uh, VWH, absolutely the pinnacle of Gem for me. Absolutely love it. Um, and it plays like a fucking dream as well, you know what I mean? Sorry for sucking my own gears balls. Oh, look at that, that's interest. <laughs> times gone by, ancient times, times from the past. Says you were a VIP. Yeah, I was a VIP for a time. And a PIV as well. <laughs> <laughs> comments, whatever a PIV can be, stick it in the comments, guys. And this is um, Prestige Ibanez RG121, customised um, up to PG121 um, status with the old Steve special and tone zone. Oh and fucking health and safety. Oh man. yeah, yeah, and then there's death. Death from electricity. Stuff. Oh, oh look at this, look at this. That's, that's surprisingly healthy there, man. Um some guitar technique stuff that kind of I knock out as well, which is all good stuff. Um, if you're interested in any of the courses, give us a shout and I'll too and get you some stuff over. This appears to be a blues guitar it's course. Not our blues, yeah, 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 class blues. one, man, blues and E. Blues is ace. Blues and E, that's all we need. Um, then you've got um, the old school Mackie desk that just works absolutely smashing for what I need. A filthy old um, Zoom. Rhythm two three four. <laughs> you and that? you can see that I, I left like a hot brew resting on it <laughs> and melted <laughs> melted the shit out of it. I'll get into that. That's so that's pure hot tea that's right there. Brew. Yeah, hot brew. So don't leave hot brews on your shit, basically. Um oh pardon. And uh, then we've got keyboards, which is all MIDI in, so I use BFT2, Logic Pro. To do that, some um, shitty bills that I use to clean my guitar strings with. Shitty bills! Because I sweat like an acid that's just been shot in the face with a shotgun. That's shot like an acid, an alien that's just been shot in the face with a shotgun. Um, another tasty beverage. Tasty beverage! And then maybe another tasty beverage, but less alcoholic. And then the shit corner, um, and then ooh, what I need to do this week. What's your busy list? What's on your busy list? Friday is a fucking awesome day. Friday appears to be riffs, fun, and then a bit of free play. Yeah, man, that's I live for Fridays. I would also. Live. I also live for Mondays AM. <laughs> and and they just toes, man, random cool. shit. And then that guy um, is an Ibanez, which started the whole RG series off, which is the Roadstar Two. That was eighty four, I believe. Um, and 
and again, as close to a Fender as I like having this to get, but it just does a great job. Sounds absolutely fucking awesome. And then cases and shears, Cases I think. and shears. Cases and shears. So, now that you know what I am, now that you know what you are, it's kind of like the Lost Boys, man. We have to sit in a tree and fucking eat victims. <laughs> right, YouTube faces. Uh, we've now moved up. We've gone from tight little <laughs> tight little bedroom package, which is what we're all after. And then we moved up to a kind of slightly bigger bedroom package with a bit of balls. Could possibly take it to a pub, do some clubs. Now we're looking at, like, we can feel this bad boy in arena kind of levels. Um, you'll instantly notice that we, we, we've, we've tailored the master a little bit because obviously it, it does get twice as loud, pretty much. We're still on 18 watts, we're still giving it the maximum amount of headroom because we want to keep those cleans nice and punchy. And um, the gain is set now to um, 2 o'clock. Um, master, a little bit under where it was, just so we can bring the... Um, uh, bring the master down a little bit to, to save ourselves and save the neighbours but also we can kind of hear what's going to happen um, it's a little bit bigger and um, so we're going to stay with uh, an A kind of pentatonic bluesy kind of deal just sounds absolutely brilliant you're getting that real kick from the bass which again we're only set on 12 we're not we're not changing anything about here guys um what i'm gonna do now is jump over to the gain um uh, well let me, let's see let me just see if i can clean this up i'll spray that again let's see if i can clean this up i'm gonna take the gain down to 12 again and that is just a glorious valve clean <laughs> Still straight up on the EQs, I'm just going to boost up to um, this blue channel. Yeah, yeah. Right, so now we've got some serious balls. It seems to be kind of projecting a lot better through the 4B12. Um, and these are V30s that we've got loaded in this so in this cabinet, so it's great. And plus, Mesa cabinets seem to just kind of push bass a little bit better. Um, so let's see how that sounds. So again, no lead boost at present. We've just got this um, our, our lead channel. <laughs> If you've got the balls to take this level of gain out, it'll pay dividends, I think, in the long run. The show will sound cool, your guitar will sound mint, and it'll sound a lot heavier than it actually is. The gain works really quite well on this amp through this uh, 4B12. Right, we're going to do it, man. We're going to hit that button. Unleash the bees. It's not bad. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
more than enough game. Sounds fucking awesome. It's fat. <laughs> fucking right. It's like, I'm starting to go bald from one side of my face. Hey. You might notice this. Oh, I'm sorry. Sunburn. Sorry. Beginning to get sunburn on one side of my face. Sorry, <laughs> right, so, blistering. Um, absolutely blinding through the mess of V30s. Great through the Marshall. Absolutely awesome through the H&K as well. You know, I'm not knocking that um, proprietary um, cab. It's absolutely awesome. But I do think it sounds better through the Marshall than the Mesa. It's an honest kind of demo. Um, so if you've got a mess sitting about, you know that you've got the option to get some really seriously killer tones from it. Lovely cleans, really valve sounding. Um, of course it is, because it's a true um, pure valve amp. Um, we've got easily enough bite, easily enough drive. And remember, this is all at 12 o'clock, guys. I haven't even flavoured it. Um, I just wanted you guys to hear what this amp sounds like. You can make a great amp sound better. You can't make a shit amp sound any better. It will sound like it sounds. What H&K have done here is give you a, a basic EQ choice. It takes the guesswork out of your playing a little bit. It gives you the chance to just go and play with a little bit of character um, that you want to add into, um, it, which is fucking awesome. You don't want to spend seven days to try and get a killer tone. Um, so that's it. What we're going to do now is we're going to kind of flip this round and actually drop down the stages of the power soak so you can hear that even though you've got a big blind and 4 we 12 sitting in your bedroom or living room we can take this down to really really neat levels and get a good, still get a decent top right then bro let me see the let me see the sexy back end <laughs> oh yeah right and here we have it ignore my big fat chunky dimaggio speaker lead Tell you, you're only as good as your weakest component. Get good speaker leads. Right, guys, so here we have the back of this amp. We've got um absolutely awesome effects loop. And um, unfortunately, I haven't had time to kind of tell more have the time to challenge it to test in this um, demo, but it is truly awesome. Plus, it takes pedals so well in the front as well. And um, we've got a foot switch which will allow you to switch between channels, put the lead boost in. And um, we've got no reverb at all on this amp, so what you might find in the demo is it is rather dry. We've got the um, patented TSC, um, which is the tube um, security circuit or tube safety circuit. And what that allows us to do is test our tubes are on a maximum. It will also self bias as well. So if you throw new tubes in there willy nilly, it will get them kind of sorted out. So you don't have to go hunting for paired um, power tubes or, or preamp tubes. Uh, and then we have the um, speaker out, one speaker out. So you're not going to be able to power a stack off this amp. But you can kind of link, I think, Mesa and Marshall have started doing kind of a through port. So you can power two cabs off one out speaker output. Um, but don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure I've never tried it before. Um, but one cab is enough if you're on a 4 by 12 Here we have the power soak circuitry. So currently we've been running all of the demo on 18. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it to 5, see what that sounds like. Then we're going to drop it to 1, see what that sounds like. Alright chaps, let's do that on 5. Right guys, so as you can see by the settings, I'm not actually changing anything, I'm just changing the power soak. Um, and hopefully you'll see just that the changes in um, the lower output give you a little bit more saturation, a little bit more gain, because you're driving the, um, the, the tubes a little bit more. So let's see how that sounds on the clean setting. <laughs> Um, bought my first real six string, bought the five and dime. <laughs> what, what am I doing? You Going to Bri that riff. You went Brian Adams. I love Brian Adams, that. Right, so. Um, so you can see the gains back, uh, even though we haven't changed the clean channel at all. Just breaking up a little bit better. Um, so let's try that with coil tapped. <laughs> Saturation's a little bit smoother on 5 watts than it was on 18, but that could have just been because there was a lot of power behind it. Right, let's move over to the lead channel. Um, 
a lot less feedback, a lot less noise. Um, again, settings exactly as they were. Gain on about three o'clock. Uh, master on about nine o'clock. Everything else up at twelve. <laughs> the volume up to kind of get us back to where we were originally. shakes really man it kind of takes it down to a beautiful level and the clean on one watt has still got that nice saturation to it <laughs> Hughes and Kettner amp that's the size of 
a small lunchbox that has got enough tone to kind of keep you going through vintage um, vintage rock, vintage cleans, very, very pretty ballady kind of tones. Um, and then kind of up to modern day high gain, just with a bit of faith. I think we kind of put a little bit too much reverb delay and gain into our presets. This amp makes you play better. It 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 makes you um it it shows up your foibles and you're playing, and that's good for that's great for a practice amp. Maybe not so great for a, a touring amp, or but you'd be better with this amp, I think, before you took out on the road. So if you like the Hughes and Kettner Tone Master eighteen, you should go and buy one. Right, dude. That's a wrap. It certainly is. Night, night. Thank <laughs> you.